Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have an Abus model 7440 and I already have one gutted behind us. It is six pins and all standard pins. But uh, to make this a lockpicking video, let's pick it real quick to show how it picks. So you did see the uh, kind of windy kiwi there. It's not too bad. I need to use a 30 thousandths turner tool in it um, because the top of kiwi is actually kind of narrow. There's two, three, four, nothing on one. Focus for me on something on the lock, preferably. Thank you. There you go. Felt like click on six. One, two, here we got one and two. Three feels good. Holy focus. Like. Five. Click on three, four. Yeah, we already got one. Let's make sure nothing fell back down. I feel like we've hit all the pins. I keep forgetting that this is a dead course, so I really don't need a whole lot of tension on it. There we go. There we go. There is our open. So there we go. Uh, as you saw, uh, not too bad to pick through. The hardest part about it is the uh, the windy keyway. And when I'm going at these sometimes, especially with the bigger hook like this, what I do is I go up in it and I kind of twist my pick. Focus there. There we go. I kind of go in and I twist my pick with the keyway because the pick is thin enough where it's not jamming on anything, so it's not putting a lot of pressure on it. It goes pretty smoothly around it, kind of like that. And that way I can get that pick all the way at the top there. You just gotta be careful because you're also pushing backwards from your uh, turning pressure. But yeah, here we are behind us. We have it fully gutted already. And you can see that it is all standard pins. The ones on the far back ones here, uh, those are drilled out at the top because I had to drill so far down to get them removed. So that's why those look like that. And up here is our plug. So six pins and the retaining uh, plug retaining pin on the end there. And we can see our actuators down here as well. So this is the uh, pl uh, plug retaining pin. So this little pin goes around, uh, goes along this path right here to keep the plug from coming out and to make sure the plug doesn't over rotate. And here are our actuators right here. Let's see if I can get a uh, better view of that. I'm already all the way zoomed in. And so, Get it oriented correctly here. Maybe I need a uh, yeah, a pair of tweezers will probably help. Oh nope, it won't work. Anyway, so here is our actuator. You can see here is the end that you can see through the keyway. This is the part that moves into the um, the shackle to hold it in place. And here's the part that goes underneath inside. So this is the part that interacts with the end of our plug here 
So when the plug's in here, it is on in here like this. And when it turns, it turns that one way. And this other one, this other actuator fits perfectly on the other side of right here and pushes the other one. You can see they both, it's the same exact thing. You can see how in the middle there, how it makes that gap. And that's where our, our the end of our plug will fit inside right there. And so if you look through the lock, this is what you're seeing on the back end right there. So if we look, damn it, to stay focused. There we go. So if we look through the plug, or um, through the lock when the plug's not in it, this is what we see in the back. And so the back end of that plug turns both of these this way and pushes them into each other. This one usually has a spring too. And then that's what opens the lock. And then when you uh, take the key out, they push back apart. And that's what uh, allows the lock to be locked again. But these are the same exact type of actuator pieces that are in all the recent gutting videos that we've seen. They're uh, like the little um, wedge type actuator to go into the shackle. And on the inside, it's this little piece in the back that goes uh, springs off of each other with the other one. I'll just take that spring out now. So they kind of fit together. So they both would spring off each other like that. But you've seen in the recent videos, they all look like that in the back. These are the same exact ones. And so uh, here's also interesting. So you saw the spring in it. They also put a little pin in that spring. There's a little pin that goes in that spring to make sure it doesn't get uh, compressed too much as well to, you know, kind of control. And, um, oh yeah, the body of the lock. So, that's pretty cool. So, you just take the bottom off and it is a fully aluminum body. So, <clears throat> you can't take the, uh, the plastic body part off without taking the shackle off. Let's take the shackle off. You have to drill out this right here. I just didn't feel like dealing with it because the only thing left that uh, is inside of this body of the padlock is that shackle because we already took the actuator and everything else out. And I'm not going to make this uh, repinnable because I drilled out the um, pins and the springs and it's just this one's just not worth it. But here is the back of the lock. Usually we would see those actuators back there like we've seen in all the recent ones that would be springing off of each other. And here are the pinholes on the side. So there's our six pins and our, so if we put our plug like this, you can see how all the pinholes lined up. There are six pins and then our plug retaining pin at the back. So that pin goes along that path right there to, to control our plug and um, keep it from being pulled out. But there it is. This is our um, Abus 7440. Uh, all standard pins, but aluminum bodied uh, lot of lock. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching.